welcome back to Y254 TV. Thank you for still staying with us. This being Wine Morning Hashtag. I keep forgetting Wednesday and Thursday. I don't know why, but yeah, today is Wednesday Empowerment Cafe, not Thursday vibes, because that was, that's what came to my mind. And we are glad to have you on board this morning. I don't know, um, um, but I can tell you we had some mad fun. We love having fun in this uh, show. In particular segment, uh, right about now, we are doing Empowerment Cafe, where we get to encourage, to empower young people and to impact lives. We don't just have conversations for the sake of having them. This week's um, Empowerment Cafe, I get to feature Zen Foundation, and they have quite the names. I'm not sure I want to keep trying to mentioning their names because mm, so Karibuni guys, I will allow you to say your names, especially Winston. <laughs> I'm about to bite my tongue in this conversation. Uh, jina langu ni Winston Avoze, mimi mzaliwa wa Lamu. Nilisomea chuo cha upili cha Upper Hill. Alafu nilipomaliza nilisomea multimedia hiyo iko Rongai. Um, nimekuwa mwanachama wa Zen kutoka wakati ilianza. Nimekuwa kwa Zen before tutafute actually the name. Yeah. Kiswahili imekuwa added to the mix. Well, please. <laughs> So my name is Shalom Wafula Nyongesa, uh, Nilzali wa Kitale, uh, born and raised in Kitale, and uh, right now I'm, I'm a student actually uh, at KCA University doing finance, and I'm also uh, part of Zen Foundation, part of the secretarial team actually. Nilipatikana yeah. wapi na Facebook breakdown jana? Me nilikuwa nyumbani. Actually the first one I noticed ilikuwa ni Instagram. We had this, tulipata uh, the good news. So nikawa nataka kuambia watu, leo watupata live to 5-4. Then naenda na jaribu ku refresh the feed. Nothing is happening. Mm -hmm. Do nika jaribu Facebook, nika realize the same. Then I knew something was actually mm -hmm. up. Mm. <laughs> Shalom ilikupata wapi? <laughs> actually, uh, yangu pia ilikuwa Instagram. Uh, I wanted to update something on my profile actually. Ilikuwa nimeenda Instagram kwa update something. And while, while logging in, ilikuwa na inasema something is up and uh, I went to Facebook it was saying the same so I knew something was up eh hey, jamani mimi nipata tu kwa streets jana nilikuwa wapi but yeah anyway what is Zen foundation so can say Zen mm -hmm. is actually a charity group mm -hmm. and uh, before Zen existed the founders actually the founders that the 10 founders Zen has 10 founders so the 10 founders existed be be before Zen. And uh, one thing in Yanafanya Zen equal that connected because before creating the foundation, to look our friends first, the founders, and uh, we were having these events, you know, fun events, going for road trips, and something like that. So, and uh, one of us, who is the chairman of the group, Ali Kujanayo idea, why not share the fun with other people? Like to not after the people who are the law in the society, and uh, we actually shared the fun with them, and we came up with the charity group. Actually, can say it. Ah, so when was it founded? Okay, so the plans were underway about October. Mm. I was approached. I think I was among the first ones to be approached by our our director. She told me, you know, nilikuwa ninaenda hizo charity events with my friends, but I didn't really belong to a group. So nile unaitwa leo. Leo na kupata ukiwa unado, unaenda tu ile, unapiki ya watoto, you share the fun, you dance with them and all. So, akani uliza, because we've been, we've been having fun on our own, just as my brother Shaloma said, why can't we extend the hand? Mm -hmm. So, October and the idea came, but we went on our first event on 2nd December. Uh, after your uh, 2nd December, we went on another, another one on 3rd February. Then there was another one last month. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, so the idea existed long before we actually came up with the... Because unajua, ukisha pata hiyo idea sasa, mm -hmm. sasa mna kachini ndo mna formulate, hizo stages inawekwa, mimi, ni, ni, mimi na simamia mawasiliano, communication. So, uyu ni the secretary, so ndo tukajigawanya, the founders kila mtu wakachukua responsibility. Isikuwe tu ni director, so si tunamfuata without actually helping her. So, 
kila mtu akachukua jukumu lake hapo we started drafting members actually when we went for the first event on december mm -hmm. we didn't have any other member ilikuwa ni 10 man army so ni ile tu well wishers una post status facebook ig wale ambao walikuwa wako willing enough kufanya na sisi so ndio wakaanza kutu tukawaambia we have an event the turnout was actually very good i was very surprised ilikuwa ni ile tumetafuta pesa uh, it's about inaenda kufika the last minutes and <laughs> according to our calculations za finance haikuwa nearly enough but things happened the way they did we thank god for that na watu wali come through and the last day ikafika we actually we went there and we, we were able to do what we said to do to do mm. yes what fueled your passions uh, probably i don't know probably I'll, I'll start with Shalom. what fueled your passion to join them uh, i can i can say uh, what fueled my passion is kuona these people when you are in the society mm. and how they will be on a lack you know and there's some support here when you are on a plenty you have plenty una share na we decided to share it with the people in yahana that's the low people in the society you can say that mm. what about you instead so for me ina tokea kutoka utotoni ili nashukuru nililelewa na wazazi ambao walikuwa they are givers natural givers kutoka nikiwa mdogo nilikuwa nimeona wazazi wangu waki wakisaidiana mm. sana mm. um, nililelewa kwa ile familia ambayo ulikuwa mkiwa mmeserve 10 plates then uh, the 11th person comes they take your plates inaenda jikoni inakuwa divided into two so that the other person can eat so that my my passion to give as i can say has existed since before but you see the opportunity you know we have very many stereotypes about foundations kama mimi nilikuwa najua like i need to have like 20000 10000 30000 to give but i am glad zen taught me otherwise actually there are times sisi kama members unakuta tuko in a very bad financial position but since mimi nakujua wewe wewe unajua mtu mwingine tunaweza kutangamana na tu, we can actually come up with what is needed so zen ilinifunza you don't really need to have much to give give is about the will. So kama una hiyo nia unaweza patiana. Yeah. What are some of the programs ya uh, who na run at the foundation? Okay, so nitaanza na hiyo ya December. Mm -hmm. The December was tuliamua ku visit a uh, children's home. Our director got into contact with the owner of uh, children's home in Umoja. We went there so we basically did the shopping kulikuwa na some kids ambao walikuwa hawana uniform and they were in school so we were able to cater for that some of them see both of them then on february uh, on february it was called project empower flow it was called empower flow because tulikuwa tunaenda ku, ku kupatiana sanitary pads so i actually that was some of it ilikuwa fueled na what we experienced tukiwa kutoka primary you see it, it is very absurd that women mm -hmm. actually lack sanitary pads and it didn't seem like a big deal until to lienda madhara slums yeah people are actually at a very bad state so to your project empower flow it was about sanitary pads then the latest one we went to a rescue home so it is a, it is like a institute that houses defiled women yeah to lienda tukaka nao tukaongea nao tukatangamana it was a very good experience now we have an oncoming project the oncoming project itakuwa about feeding street kids yeah we are we are yet to decide on the location but basically we'll just give street kids food yeah nimekuangalia ju luweliangalia kama ulikuwa unataka ku add something on it so that's why i looked at you among us these are programs zot thing in my fanya which one will you deem as the most successful for me i can say the first event mm -hmm. because the event to require only the 10 of us because if you compare the second one to require to have but our members actually we come to join so i kwa that tactic and could raise finance and and all but the first one was i can say we, i was so proud of the first event because we go to require 10 and raising the finances was so so hard like you said it come the, the the last day but I just, I just hit the target that he had but god was great it was a success shalom has raised a, a good a good point i'd want to ask 
of course, when we think about NGOs, foundations, charitable organizations, we're always thinking about the money. We're always thinking about, hey, where do we get the money? Where do we, f how do we fund these things? So how do you, how are you able to raise um, gifts in kind and in cash at Zen Foundation? Okay, so we have uh, different methods because not you can't rely on one method. Mm -hmm. And as, uh, as I think we forgot to mention that Zen Foundation is an, uh, is an upcoming group. But don't, tunakuja na ubaya. That is what I mean when I say we are upcoming. Yeah. So the thing is, uh, we have different ways. For instance, we have a weekly contribution where we have different contributions depending on whether you are employed or you are unemployed. Also, we have we do challenges. So we can say, let's say we choose a Friday and we do a 20 bob challenge. So everybody sends 20 bob. Also, we, we advertise on the statuses. We've actually, you will actually be surprised how much you can get help from people who don't know you. Like someone just sees your status, you've never talked. Probably it's someone you used to be in the same class in high school. Then they're like, oh, when are you doing this event on 20th? Make sure you remember, you, you remind me by 15th. So your 15th tikifika unamkumbusha alafu, unamtu wa mekutumia pesa. So also that, we also have from well wishers. Uh, on, on the second event, one of our members, he actually took the, the idea to his family. And the extended family actually contributed a very large amount of money. So we, we don't rely on one avenue to get the money. Yeah. And also with good preparation, you see, like we have an event that we've set in like two two months time. So the advertisement is already underway. So ikifika hiyo wakati, ito kuwa ati sasa ni rasha wa unanza kutafuta pesa za next week kama next week but one. It's something we do for a very long time. Then pia, we start on the we start with the peak, tena tuna mm -hmm. end with the peak. So ikianza kufika hiyo last minute, we as the members, we are very active. Kila mtu sasa ananza kufanya challenge, kila mtu ananza kuongelesha watu more and more. You, we become very thorough with the process. So at the end of the day, pesa was na patikana. And I'm glad to say that was na patikana na zinapita. So kila wakati icho kiwango kikipitiliza, what we do is we, we obviously have our next event. Mm -hmm. The money in a kuwa taken into accounts. We, we tell the members because then is all about transparency. Lazima you tell people, we, we, we wanted to raise 30,000. We've raised 45,000. So we'll use the 30,000, but the 15,000 will carry on to the next event so that it turns on a zero. So the next event, we do the same thing. Yeah. Yes. How successful has it been to lobby resources? Uh, okay. Uh, you can both go, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's speak. Shalom, then okay. you'll come in. Okay, okay. Uh, I, I can say the first event, it was so hard, actually. It was so hard to lobby the funds, and uh, you can be shocked that most people that you know, that uh, you deem to be your friends. <laughs> He had no time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. They cannot give you the money. Group, me, I have a friend, me, I'll call and be like, Nadani, and you love and you judge a flan, you know? Ukora, you pesa mna tuf na changa changa mkule. But uh, kuna, uh, as he said, kuna some strangers when you actually who come through on a toyo pesa, and it helps us a lot. Ah, you mm. had something you also wanted to chip in? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, as he said, I also have the same views. The first event was very hectic. I think we're also starting to familiarize ourselves with the, as you said, lobbying of cash. You know, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm not asking you for money that I will use. I'm asking you mm -hmm. for money that I'm going to use for, for another person. So it's kind of hard. You see, as I said, charity is about your willingness to do. It is not about how much money you have. You might text someone at your end month, lakini kama mtu ataki kukupatia by the there's nothing you can do, no matter how convincing you may, mm -hmm. you may be. So we struggled, but as he said, vitu zilifanyika. At the end of it, kila kitu ilikuwa successful. Yeah. When you started, you were 10. Mm -hmm. How many are you right now? 35. Uh, okay. 35, yeah. You're 35. So I'm assuming you created roles. Okay, where are the 10? The, the team leaders or what happened to the 10? Uh, okay. What I'm trying to <laughs> what I'm trying to <laughs> ask is, what does the structure of Zen look like now, as opposed to when you started? Mm. So uh, the structure, we have our director, uh -huh. then we have a directorial 
assistant mm. and we have a directorial secretary then what's the difference the difference yeah okay how you want to work a personal you see the director has you could be a secretary with the whole group i need this and this and this when you work a personal and our director handles so much so kunaizo events kunaizo ideas akonazo so and i put all of that through the secretary then when i revisit badai but we have now the secretarial department which is headed by shalom and there's another person called elvis so how sasa ndio ni mtasema ni overall mm. au si wa director specifically ni wetu sisi sote communications it's me and another person called wisdom then we have our logistics department it's headed by prien we have our welfare department headed by chelsea and our accounts because lazima hesabu <laughs> lazima you balance yeah. the, the sheet yes so we, upon the, the 10 it, it how can i put it it was it was out of our will but it was mandatory there is no way sisi tunaweza anzisha zen then you sit at the back at the back seat ungoje vitu vikuwe run so we actually took mimi nilifanya film production and animation so nikaamua kuchukua hizo accounts everything to do with communication mimi nina handle watu ambao walifanya business ndo wakaenda huko kwa accounting secretary yeah aha yes. okay so Amazing. the 10 dot na head alafu for uh-huh. for the accountability na transparency we started putting in the members so kama mimi we we are two founders but we have other three people ambao si founders so that in case i do something wrong in case mtu wa accounts afanye something wrong there is actually another person to put them in check mm-hmm. yes so we are not at e, the structure is not only we, we don't only lead as the founders we have also mm-hmm. other people when any members ndio uh-huh. tukutufanya tukutukutkeep in check tukuwe transparent yes how's the journey been has been great it's i can say for me f- the first event mm-hmm. it was so so nice to see those kids uh, in promise giving children some smile it's something out of the world to see people smile actually because yeah, that's something that's that you've done that's your most fulfilling uh how do i put it because i wanted to ask What's your most fulfilling feeling from doing what you do? But now you've answered me. So sh- um, Winston, tell me, what's your most fulfilling feeling? I think it's the same. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, you know, you might be going through a lot. Mm. Then you help someone. Mm. Sometimes you just take a back seat and you just realize how much you can impact someone else's life. Mm. You see, I would say 50 bob, 100 bob, 500 bob is not a big deal for me but you, you you have no idea how much difference that makes actually uh, talking about the february third project project empower flow obviously we were conversant with vitu kama heavy kutoka tukiwa primary school so i remember when girls used to be shunned for that wanawake wanaogopa and all then we went to a slum we we sat down with them we talked to them took up their nasal pads if you'll just see the glow in their faces it was very fulfilling by the way oh. it is a very humbling experience to kind of call the first event at promise giving you know to kuna watoto walinyolewa wengine walioshonywele wakasukwa then kulikuwa na daktari fulani alikuwa amekuja kuangalia wengine i think they had complications kwa macho tukapika food tukakula yani if you just see how happy the kids were it is a very humbling experience mm. the day by the time in end <laughs> kila mtu alikuwa anataka toe viatu tutembe mguu mtupu tulikuwa tumechoka sana migui na uma and all but we were very happy una the next day kulikuwa na watu wanaenda kazi but the sacrifice that we made it actually paid off it was very fulfilling it was totally worth it yes what has been um, some of the challenges you've experienced so i'd want both of you to probably give me um a couple of challenges probably you've experienced can go first mm. so one like uh little to myself of finances that's uh mm. that's the biggest challenge i can say because it's an upcoming group so raising finances is one of the greatest challenge two i can say is uh you know these events tunazifanya different places so the transport took up one place to another na vile tunakuja tunakutana so it's it's kind of hectic uh, in some way yeah for me those are the two mm-hmm. challenges at the moment uh, okay what are some of the challenges you've he experienced he said the main ones but i will just add up add to what he said mm-hmm. 
so kuna hiyo ku mobilize watu unajua asa as he said sisi tulikuwa marafiki so kuongeleshana na marafiki it's kind of easy you just tell people tunafaa kuwa mahali fulani saa fulani lakini sasa unajua kuongelesha how new people sometimes watu wanaku let down sometimes people just don't know how to communicate so that is a challenge also another thing sometimes ni the policies you see what zena taught me ni i don't know everything unaweza chukua by the way leo a can of food wende upatie mtoto na uone all of a sudden kanjoa ametokea you don't know kumbe ulikuwa unafaa kuwa na permit ulikuwa unafaa kufuata hii na, na ile so pia hiyo ni shida sometimes we, we, we find ourselves uh, ni kama we have a conundrum we want to help but kuna kitu kita to impair to do the help also sometimes it's risky i've had these scenarios ambazo nimeona some videos people getting assaulted our team by the way is very diverse iko na both males and females sometimes to ensure safety especially ya females it's a bit hard so tunataka ku send watu waende walishe watu in tuseme mahali kama uko city market huko mm. so ukituma okay, group of females peke yake you're not really sure about what will happen so there is that too ah yes amazing so how do you now I'll ask you that because you're in the communication department mm -hmm. how do you ensure that um people rather your supporters stay up, up to par with what you do okay so uh, communications uh, the in itself uh, e dialogue between mimi na the, the well wishers the sponsors and the donors it is more of my side ni mimi ndio nafaa kufanya more of the work so ni mimi ninafaa ku engage more kuliko ambavyo wao watani engage so uh, one of the ways na ensure with that ni we have a post on a daily basis naweza mwa pengine on a sunday ni kosa ama nieke ya previous event but every day i have to come up with content lazima u keep people engaged because people don't just be coming to your page ku like kitu uli post three days ago so on a daily basis i post i post things that are related to the charity nina tag watu nina share kwa status natuma kwa group also the people share so it becomes a continuous conversation at the end of the day uh, if we are 35 members and going in every day nina make sure 35 people wameweka something about zen then the same 35 people wenye wameweka status ya whatsapp bado wateka instagram na some of them facebook so it becomes a continuing conversation so akutakuwa na wakati mtu atasema amesahau zen because zen every time anaenda kwa status ya a member anaona zen iko we, as shalom has said we've also had so many well wishers ambao watu wajui mtu anaona kitu chenu anaamua ku repost so inaenda yeah so in and like he propel the message and that is what zen is about so we are working so hard on awareness not aware not only awareness about the team about peer shida za watu ndo tu ndo tuwaeleze jinsi watu wanavyo hizo shida wanapitia lazima pia we tell more about about our foundation so in as much as we are promoting our foundation we also promoting our message na our message ni simple compassion in action that is our motto mm. so we want to to make people aware of what we are doing and what people are going through huku nje yes ah uh, shalom yes. what are um, some of the most urgent needs in the zen urgent needs mm. uh, at the moment that after needs that after members new members and uh, we encourage anyone that uh, may nataka ku join zen foundations because bado members tuko chini actually tunataka more and more members So if uh, you are out there and you're willing to join Zen Foundation the door is wi wide open you can join any time. Yeah. What are some of the um, interesting things about being a team leader? One of the team leaders. One of the team leaders mm. I can say the in a in a many funds are in many equip na so many things one is uh, the quality to lead because Mimi by the way in all my life means yeah, is they coin mm. things about leading and some at uh, in my primary and high school life si kwa na lead na chukua hizo leadership roles and stuff but size ni kona leadership role and it's a hard task but at the same time in an idea actually yeah winston what do you love about being the communications person at then okay 
so unlike my face actually like to talk a lot <laughs> actually like, to talk like a lot. your face yeah i have a very serious face by yeah the way. you do <laughs> i like to talk a lot so niliangalia kwa kitu ambacho naweza fanya vizuri na effectively effectively kwa zen na nika choose communications because with communications i actually get to do both to help people to help the foundation and to help and also to master what i am doing so communications for me it is not much of a role it's more of a lifestyle mimi the, i am used used to kuongelesha watu ku deal with the group so it is it is just an easy task for me yeah and what i like about it basically ni the core value ya yeah, all zenians ni to help people so kama hiyo message unasema inaweza saidia mtu somewhere kama vile mimi nitakuelezea what we are doing kitakufanya uwe willing ama ukwe able kusaidia mtu mwingine i'm all up for that yeah. yes. so when when you when you in a, in an organization like yours one of the things um that's one of the things that matter is to know that what you're doing makes an impact to the society so how are you able to measure the effectiveness of your work or other of your programs okay so the measures that we put in place first of all unajua charity is something we do na most of the times we have to use very different metrics mm. but the best way to naza make sure what we do is is actually helping someone out there we in our outreach programs after tumetoka place we don't com- totally abandon them so kama tulienda tukapeana pads na joezi pad zitawa zitawa saidia tuseme for some two months ama one month we actually do a follow up yeah, the, our director keeps in touch with every place we've ever been we also do future collaborations kama kulikuwa na hiyo event yenye tulienda na la juja ilikuwa it was an event organized by la juja football academy mm-hmm. so tulienda now and our director is still in touch with them for future collaborations we also talk to the place where we went Uh, tunawauliza wa, 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 watoto wanaendelea vipi wale wasichana wanaendelea vipi kumekuwa na shida zingine so by kukua in touch constantly wanaweza hata waelezea wanaweza waambia pads mlileta pengine pads mlipeana then ml, watu mlipatia kuna wengine walikuja new mm. ambao hamkuwa mme cater for so when they do that we find a, we, we take it to the group we discuss then we find a suitable solution obviously solutions ni nyingi but we vote for the best now the best one goes so we work with that we make sure to make it for everyone yeah what are some of the do. obstacles um that stand between you and um your mission and your vision for the group mm. like uh, i can say mm-hmm. uh, we have uh, the policies like he said The, the upcoming event here uh, to feed uh, street children uh, our chairman alifanya uh, research and uh, i can find out like uh, you have first to talk to the city council upate the permit and mm-hmm. stuff so kuna hizo like unaweza pata hiyo ni challenge you are willing you have mm-hmm. that need side to help people but kuna uh, hiyo obstacles like you have to go through proper channels first so that you, you can help people. Yeah. Understand? I would say the biggest obviously because we need funds to do what we do. Mm. One financial constraints because uh, as you, my point earlier was sikila wakati utapata watu wako willing kukusaidia. Na most of the times wa the best way we do it ku kuondoa vitu kama hizo obstacles what we do we actually have like three plans So kuna hiyo moja top tier then we have the normal one and the lowest one. So at the end of the day uh, we, we don't really work with obstacles <laughs> that, that's what I mean. <laughs> Obviously we have obstacles yeah. but we have three programs. So mm-hmm. to say we choose the first one this is what we'll do if we have 100k this is what we'll do if we have 50k and this is what we'll do if we have 15k. So we work with both programs. Pesa ikifika 35 tunajua atujafika 50 so we use the, the lowest one. But the obstacles the biggest mean as a sema ni pesa obviously and kitu amesema hizo kufuata hizo policies and sometimes pia because our members are he sitasema members ni kidogo shida ndo nyingi so shida <laughs> shida inaweza kuja at any time so tukiamua tunaenda place on monday alafu you see most of the people wako working tunabaki watu kidogo so pia huo uhaba wa, wa wanachama pia sometimes huo unato affect 
uh, but in most scenarios so tunafanya our events on saturday so saturday most of the people are uh, are not busy mm -hmm. and what we do tunaweza kuwa 30 but 15 of us tutakuwa free so the other 15 watakuja saa saba. so si tunaenda tuna prepare and, and all au wengine wanakuja wana to join and we mm -hmm. we flow with the rhythm Ah, yes. Amazing. So what are some of the steps you people are taking to make sure that you are always achieving your strategic goals? So I can say first uh, we are trying as much as we can to look for sponsors. Mm -hmm. People who can sponsor us for, uh, to do the events. And uh, another thing, we are looking for ways uh, of raising finances. We are brainstorming on ideas, maybe starting some small business here and mm. there that can help us uh, run, run the foundation. Uh, Winston, you have something to add on that? Yeah. No. <laughs> 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 you know, it's, it's interesting how you're a blend of he's a, he's, he's a bit laid back and you're a bit outgoing. And when you came, it was the opposite. <laughs> You know, when you came, I thought he was more talkative than... My face. <laughs> <laughs> we we attributed to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> hey, German. So how would you compare your programs with other people in the field? Um, how have your programs been successful as compared to other people doing the same things as you do? Okay. So uh, when you start something, you, you obviously have a mentor and you have other people to compare mm. yourself to. Uh, what I love about Zen... As he said, ni, we, we, were f we were friends first. So, sisi kama marafiki, we always have these big dreams. Uwa tufikiri hapa tu. So, watu nafikiri ambali sana. Na for now, vile tumeanzisha foundation, hatuwezi fika mali tumefikiri asa hii. So, I can say, uh, kama nikiangalia the first event, the first event, the way it was, I, I think that was, <laughs> that was, we, we didn't even think we could do that. I can say we are very successful. It is very hard for me to compare ourselves to our wengine kwa sababu kwanza we are very different. I can say Zen is mm. very different. Sisi ni wale watu ambao ukitupata tumeenda kwa event, it will be hard for you to notice ni nani wenye event na ni nani ndo wamekuja kusaidia because we normally blend. Shida tu ni shati ya white. We, we normally wear white shirt. So that's the only difference you can tell. Otherwise, sisi watu na blend tunaitangamana sana na watu everybody is busy doing something also the fact that we were friends before we became a foundation we don't need a lot of supervision so among vitu vinatusaidia to be very successful ni hivyo kila mtu wa anajituma kila mtu anafanya role yake so i can say we are pretty successful Wo, though it is very hard for me to compare with a specific yeah. organization ama but for the short while that we've been we've been acting for the things we've achieved I can say we are very successful ah. and we are aiming for a higher place. Amazing. Yes. So do you have um, active partnerships or partnerships you're looking forward to doing with other people, other organizations? So the third event, mm -hmm. we partnered with the La Juja Soccer Academy, WMI Foundation, and I, and I think ARG Foundation. The next event that is coming, we are, we are also planning to partner with the same, same, same crew, the La Juja Soccer Academy, WMI, and ERG. But the plans are still underway. And uh, at the moment, we, we haven't found uh, any other party that uh, mm -hmm. we are planning to, to join hands. But we are encouraging any foundation or any group that's out there that uh, wants to partner with the uh, Zone Foundation, the door is wide open. Amazing. So um, how does the road look like in terms of in a few years? Where do you see yourselves? Probably both of you will answer that. Uh, I could start with Shalom. So at the moment, I can say we are just around Nairobi. We have been doing events around Nairobi. But in future, uh, we are planning to go to do uh, events outside Nairobi around uh, Kenya and also across the border. Amazing. Yeah. Okay, so as I mentioned earlier, Zen is all about, you know, you know we are very innovative and we are very, to uh, adapt kwa uraisi sana. Mm. So, uh, for the little time we've, we've done our events, we've been basically tumekua constricted to Nairobi. 
But what I've come to realize is actually we can do more. So with a lot of help, yes, maybe the, the road is rocky, but what I, what, what I can say is that we are very resilient. So whatever life has been throwing at us, we've actually been taking it that we may handle and we've, we've done our best. So Mbele on a success. That's what I can say. Mbele iko sawa. Mbele iko sawa. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. As we bring this conversation to a close, I would want both of you to individually tell me um, what would you want them to be remembered for? I don't know. Mbele ilapati ya mnaenda, unataka kuhug mtu alafu mnafanya hivi. So, unaona kuangalia una mwangalia. Unaona kuangalia una mwangalia, unaenda hivi, unarudi hivi. So it's okay. So we we can start with Shalom. Uh, <laughs> so maybe I can repeat the question. <laughs> <laughs> what will you then to be? What will you want then to be remembered for? I can say I want them to be remembered for that group that uh, touched life one life after the after the other in many many years to come yeah see mm. winston what would you want then to be remembered for then mm -hmm. compassion just as our motto says we have a lot of love to give we have a lot of help to give uh, people have different problems but I, I would like them to be there for as many people as possible we obviously can't be there for everyone but I would wish then to be that group that will be remembered that it, that did its best to be there for someone who actually needed them. So in doing that, then Nataka Igro Ile time, people will actually identify with Zen. The way you remember Zen, you remember a part of yourself. Because this is something that our director came up with. We joined her. And also this is an initiative that I believe is instilled, instilled in both of us. Most people have that willingness to give. So that's what I would want people to see. Ukiona Zen, you just remember a part of yourself that wants to give. Amazing. Yes. So any other thing you'd love to add before you tell us where we can find Zen on social media? Mm, what I would like to, to add, mm -hmm. uh, charity, as I said, is something, I, it's just the ability to give. It's, it's, it's about how willing you are. So I would urge people who are, who are watching me uh, to join them. You don't need to have the everything figured out to join them. Mm. Yeah, I would say, where could you leave you? <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure out the rest of you after, after, um, after we may contact any of us. But uh, we don't have like an official channel. We'd rather join through Shalom, through Mimi, uh -huh. through our director, through, through anyone. We borrow utapata number, utapata till. What we do at actually most of the time so mtu akituma anything kwa till we actually call them yeah because mtu anaweza kuwa ametuma registration mtu anaweza kuwa ametuma kitu kidogo ya support we actually do a follow up so wewe we to join we dm that's what I'm saying <laughs> yes shalom yeah i can say the same and uh, if you out there have some skills you know photography mm -hmm. videography that skill can be helpful to our foundation actually Amazing. So, who wants to let us know where we can find Zen? Atom Nezasimapia, your personal social media handles. So, because he's, he's, he deals <laughs> with communication, <laughs> let me allow him to finish fa last because we <laughs> start shallow. We can use that ca camera. So, I let think people know I'll where they just can give find my handles. He will deal with the foundation's handles. Yes. So, you can find me uh, on Instagram, Shalom Yongesa. Actually, Shalom Yongesa everywhere. Instagram. Facebook actually. Shalom Nyongesa. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> beauty official person. So Pia Mimi Winston Avoze across all platforms. Alafu Zen Foundation. Uh, Iko Sai currently we are using Facebook and Instagram. So ni Zen Foundation kwa Facebook na Instagram. Amazing. Yes. Thank you so much. Asante for your time. Thank you. Asante for coming, yeah. for sharing with us what you do at Zen for impacting lives and for empowering someone this morning. We really appreciate you. That was Zen Foundation doing an amazing, amazing job with their charitable foundation in the society. That was Empowerment Cafe.
we are taking a very short break but do not touch the dial that juicy conversation uh, is coming up right next with viral hashtag y254